Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to you all. My name is Dr. Mahmoudi. Okay, in this video, we will continue the chapter 8.3, Shredded Fasteners. Uh, I take this chapter and all its content from uh, the book, Shikli, Mechanical Engineering Design. Uh, and all the images I take from for this slide is taken randomly from Google Images. Okay, uh, for hexagon help box, okay, this is a example of hexagon help box. You see the head is an hexagon, in hexagon, okay. So this is called hexagon help box, okay. Uh, it says that uh, the point of stress concentration are at the fillets. Where are the fillets? Okay, here are the fillets, okay. Here are this, this region is the fillet. If you can see, if you can see, uh, with, if uh, this ball is an uh, actual ball, you can see the fillet there. Okay, and the thread root is the plane of the nut when uh, where it is present. Okay, the see the table A twenty nine for dimension. If you have the textbook with you, you can see where is the table A twenty nine, and the diameter of washer face is the same face as the width cross across the plate of the hexagon meaning that the washer you know the washer the thing is called the washer is like a donut okay like that this is called the washer it put perfectly at this uh, at the box okay uh, and the thread length is given by lt uh, if condition l uh, length uh, below 6 inchi, you use this equation 2d plus 1.4 inchi, and then for length over 6 inchi, you will use 2d plus uh, half an inch. And this is the English unit, and the in metric box is uh, you are using centimeter. You, this is the equation. Okay, what does it mean? It mean for the bolt length, this is the bolt, this is the length. You measure the length or the thread only. Okay. Only, only the thread. Okay. Only the thread. You measure only the thread. Okay. If the thread is like this, only this part have the thread, then the length is like this. Okay. Understand? Eh? If only that part have the thread, the thread is like that. Okay, this is a diagram for hexagonal help box. You can see uh, what I mean by uh, radial. This is the field where the stress concentration happen. Um, okay, this is where the stress concentration happen. This is the height of the box. Okay, the height of this, height of the head. Okay, the 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 length, the height of the head itself, and this is the angular uh, radius, okay? This is an approximately 1 per, uh, per 64 inch. And this is the width, Y and the width. So I measure this. Okay, this is the width. This is the width and this is the, the height. Okay. Now we are talking about washer. What is a washer and why we need washer? Okay, washer is an extra part that is needed. It is necessary if, if you avoid washer, you may your uh, surface part may be dented. Okay, the washer if uh, the washer the purpose of washer for is for stress distribution on that surface because when you are tightening the bolt, okay, when you are tightening the bolt in a surface. Okay, this is when you are tightening the bolt in the surface. Okay, this is the surface, and then you put tremendous strength, tremendous stress at this part. So, without washer, it may be dented. Okay, the surface may be dented. Okay, so it is not good for your eyes looking 
your customer will not be satisfied because it's pretended and um, also uh, it will give damage to that surface the crack the curve okay you can read you can see scratch okay scratch on that surface okay so that is why you need a washer okay it uh, most of the part need washer if uh, that part uh, only use uh, not not that too much force you can avoid washer but most part you have to have a washer bolt okay what is a bolt what is different bolt than screw okay this is a screw this is a screw this is a bolt okay both have thread okay but the purpose of the bolt is to clamp okay is to clamp two parts together you can see in this picture here this is the bolt they have two nut uh, one the head nut and one is the nut okay okay one is the, the head nut that is attached to the screw and one is the nut itself okay uh, okay so the purpose if is the to clamp something uh. What is the difference between hexagon head screw and hexagon help bolt? Okay, the difference is the head itself. You can see in this picture. Okay, you can see in this picture. This is the the, the what we have we have discussed before. Okay, the bolt and this is the bolt with the uh with the head uh, that have like this. Okay, you can see the store. Eh? Okay, have this head. Okay, and uh, we we open it with uh an Allen allen key screw okay or if you have this power tool you have this okay you can attach to this okay and then this it will attach to the uh, screw and you can open so you no need to to use uh don't need to use screwdriver uh no the what I call it that is, this one okay Okay, no need to use this instead of you attach this head to to this and then you can op uh, open and book the screw it is easier typical cap screw heads okay this is among the typical cap screw head you can find it many uh, pictures and diagram in the internet okay uh, uh, with myself i have this one okay this is a typical that you see the head okay and then i have this one you see the head okay and i have this one okay you see the head this is uh, is among the head okay there are many more uh, you can find uh, in the hardware shop and for the images you can find in google images there are many more okay these are among the machine screw head style okay uh in the previous slide we are talking about we are talking about the head okay you see the difference between the head one is like uh, have a uh, flat not that flat lah, but uh it has like a triangular triangular and one is like uh, uh, a circle okay and then we are now in this slide we are talking about the head you see this head you see this head Okay, this is a different kind of head, and and, and then again, uh, some of you can open with um, Allen key screw. Some you have to use the screwdriver. Actually, I'm referring to this head. Okay, to this to this head. This is all the heads uh, that used to op uh, to open that screw using this. Table A31, telling about the nominal size uh, with re has regular hexagonal height for the screw, uh, for the screw, and this is nominal size for the screw. Okay, again, uh, we may use this all these uh, table in our calculation uh, in in the next video. Okay, uh, if you have the textbook with you, better because you can refer it because this uh, writing uh, is small. 
Okay, now we're talking about hexagonal nut styles. Okay, this is a hexagonal nut. Okay, this is a has because it have the hexagon uh, shape. Okay, among the style are uh, they say full bearing, washer face, double chamfered square, uh, slotted hexagon, and many more. Okay, uh, the material of the nut must be selected carefully to match that of the bolt. During tightening, the first thread of the nut tend to take the entire load. This is what what they mean by the first nut. Okay, when you are tightening the screw, tightening the bolt, tightening the nut. Okay, no. Uh, what exactly I mean? I do have the nut with me, but imagine this is the head, the nut itself without the the length of the screw okay this is the nut itself okay in this nut have thread okay in the nut have thread when you are tightening when you are tightening it okay when you are tightening it the force taken for the first thread inside the nut okay this is the nut Inside it have thread. Okay, inside the nut you have thread. Okay, when you are tightening the nut, okay, you are tightening the nut. The first thread, okay, this is the first thread. All your load, your hand power, all your load. All your machine load, okay. All the force will be on this first nut, okay. Meaning that damage may happen at this first nut, okay. Okay, so uh, then when you're screwing in the second nut, third nut, the force will be distributed evenly, but uh, the most force is given at the first nut, okay. So that is why you it is not advisable for you to reuse the nut, okay? Because it can be dangerous. This this first one may be damaged in the previous application. So don't save money, okay? Uh, just uh, think of your life, okay? If you find it dangerous, then uh, throw it away, okay? If, if the nut you see with your eye that the thread is damaged, uh, throw it away. Okay. This is the hexagonal nut. Okay. The style they have the this style and uh, they have the this style and also have this style. Okay. You can find it, uh, uh, many pictures of it in the Google Images. So that's now for this video. We will continue in the next video on joints and fastener stiffness. Okay, I hope you I can understand uh, what I'm trying to explain. Okay, so we meet you in the next video. Thank you very much.